Here we are, taking some garbage to the transfer station. We're going to separate out the cardboard. And we need to separate out the metal. Wow, look at all that garbage. I wonder where they're gonna take it next. Today, we're going to do a three reads math problem. All good mathematicians, and even readers and writers, will make a movie in their head while thinking and solving a problem. This helps paint a picture of what's really happening. And that picture is essential to understanding and solving a mathematical problem. In a three reads problem, you're going to read the story three times, each time for a different, important, mathematical purpose. For the first read, you're going to focus on understanding what's actually happening in the story. For the second read, you're going to focus on the numbers and what each number represents. Finally, in the third read, I want you to focus on the math questions being asked. Sometimes you'll know the question, and sometimes you will be coming up with the questions yourself. Let's begin. The first time we read the problem, all we're gonna do is just notice what is happening in the story. In 2018, the King County Solid Waste Division reported several tons of recyclable material at their facility. This was an improvement from the total reported in 2017, which was many tons. King County hopes to increase the total recyclable material each year by several tons. They have a goal to reach many tons a year. What do you notice is happening in the story? Hit pause and write down several observations you saw. All right, the second time we read the problem, we're gonna notice what numbers there are in the problem and what each number represents. In 2018, the King County Solid Waste Division reported 32,175 tons of recyclable material at their facility. This was an improvement from the total reported in 2017, which was 28,600 tons. King County hopes to increase the total recyclable material each year by 1,225 tons. They have a goal to reach 40,000 tons a year. I want you to hit pause and notice the numbers in the story and what each number represents. You should have noticed the number 32,175, which represented the number of tons of recyclable material in 2018. You should have also noticed the number 28,600, which represented the number of tons of recyclable material in 2017. You should have also noticed the number 1,225, which represents an increase of tons each year. And finally, you should have noticed the number 40,000, which represents the goal for tons of recycle. Now we're gonna read the problem a third time. This time we're gonna ask what math questions could we ask? In this story, you could ask questions with situations of getting more, taking away, bringing together or comparing. Let's read. In 2018, the King County Solid Waste Division reported 32,175 tons of recyclable material at their facility. This was an improvement from the total reported in 2017, which was 28,600 tons. King County hopes to increase the total recyclable material each year by 1,225 tons. They have a goal to reach 40,000 tons a year. I want you to hit pause and write down several math questions you could ask from this story. You might have come up with some of these questions. 
How many years would it take to reach their goal? Or you might have asked this, how many tons of recycle did King County do in 2017 and 2018 combined? Or you might have asked this, how many more tons did they do in 2018 than 2017? You might have come up with other questions that I didn't even think of. We're going to look at this question. How many years would it take to reach their goal? Let's read the story one last time. In 2018, the King County Solid Waste Division reported 32,175 tons of recyclable material at their facility. This was an improvement from the total reported in 2017, which was 28,600 tons. King County hopes to increase the total recyclable material each year by 1,225 tons. They have a goal to reach 40,000 tons a year. How many years would it take to reach their goal? I want you to hit pause and solve using any strategy. Be prepared to share your answer and your strategy with someone when you're finished. If you're finished, you may go back and answer any of the other questions that you came up with.